guys, welcome back to the skincare channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you hanging out and spending time with me. I am so sorry that I have been absent for four weeks. You guys have no idea the technical difficulties that I have been going through. Everything from my external microphone to purchasing another camera and then going back and forth. It has been a nightmare but I am happy to be here. I have everything all straightened up and you have no idea how much I have missed you guys and spending time with you. We are going to talk about a request from Bonnie. Bonnie is from the East Coast. At my last video, she had left a message saying, could we talk about winter moisturizers? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Being from the East Coast, I know that my friends and family are probably freezing their little butts off right now, but it's so beautiful back there and I do miss it. Now, living in California, you think it'd be cold because I have a scarf on. No, not at all. Just for decoration, I don't need a scarf. I just put it on today because this is gonna be really cute talking about winter moisturizers. I want to talk about hydrators and moisturizers, serums, and creams. Everything that you could use during the winter months to help your skin. But before we get into that, let's talk about what causes dry skin in the winter months. Well, okay, the air is dry. There is low moisture in the air. We sometimes have the heat too high in the house. We don't have a humidifier to add moisture when we're sleeping or just going throughout the day in the house. It also could be washing our face with hot water. I know it feels good in the winter time in the cold months, but actually hot water is not good for your skin. You really should be using lukewarm to warm water. And also it could be the skincare products that we're using and the cleansers that could be harsh and dry our skin out. So those are just a few things that cause dry skin. So before we get into my favorite products to use during the winter months, I want to remind you guys, and for those of you who don't know, that it is imperative for you guys to wash your face at night and prep your skin for the evening and while you're sleeping. I call this the rest and renewal stage because while we're sleeping, your skin is working on your texture, appearance and radiance of your skin. So the first one out of the starting gate is from Obagi. It is the Hydrate Lux. Pay attention to the Lux part. This is an amazing cream. Why is it a cream? It's a cream because it is thick. It is heavy, but not in a bad way. Don't let that scare you. It is very rich in texture and your skin just absorbs it right away. It has shea and mango butter in it and it also has avocado extracts to help moisturize your skin. Sounds pretty yummy actually. Another interesting ingredient that Hydrate Lux has is hydromanol. Hydromanol is an advanced ingredient which retains water in your skin and continuously delivers moisture to your skin. So my next favorite winter product that I would like to talk about is from Skin Medica, and that is the HA Rejuvenating Hydrator. Now, just so we're clear, this is not a cream, this is not a moisturizer, this is actually a serum. And the HA part of it actually means hyaluronic acid. And this product works the best and should be used on damp skin, not wet and not dry. So you wanna make sure your skin is damp and then you apply this product and then it does its magic. I love this product because it is the first of its kind that actually supports the skin's overall health. It not only helps your skin to stay hydrated, but it is also aiding your skin to replenish 
it's hyaluronic acid on its own. So comes out, looks like this. It is very smooth and silky. This product you can use in the morning and also at night. And also with the Hydrate Lux from Obaji, you can also use that in the morning and at night. Now, just a little side note. In addition to using the Skin Medica's HA serum, I also pair that with the 2.0 Lytera from Skin Medica. It is a pigment correcting serum. And for anybody that has sunspots, hyperpigmentation, or melasma, this will help. And it's important to know that this product is hydroquinone free. Also comes in a pump. It looks very similar to the hyaluronic acid. The texture is a little different. It feels a little more wet and you have to work it into your skin. Just remember when it comes to any products you're putting on your face, do not rub and do not stretch your skin out. Honestly, the best way I like to put products on, since I have this on my skin, I actually like to pat it on. I feel by applying products on in a patting fashion, it actually gets into your skin a little deeper and you use less product. So just a little tip for you guys. Okay. So the next product we're gonna talk about is a facial moisturizer. And it is from Obagi. It is the Hydrate Facial Moisturizer. Now, this is a wonderful product. It's very light when you apply it to your skin and it is non-greasy. There is no scent to it. And comes out a light white cream, hard to see it. And when you apply this to your skin, you're gonna feel that immediately it is hydrated. This is a very nice product to use. And if you feel like the Hydrate Lux is a little too heavy for you, then I would try using the Hydrate Facial Moisturizer. So now that we have gone over a facial cream, a serum hydrator, and a facial moisturizer, what I'd like to do during the winter and dry months to keep my skin glowing is have a humidifier in my bedroom, drink lots of water, remember to use your SPF, ditch the hot showers, and anytime you can add a hyaluronic acid into your skincare regimen, then I would suggest doing that. So before I go, you know, I always like to leave you guys with a tip or trick. And one of my favorite products is from Sephora and it is from Caudalie and it's a beauty elixir. What Caudalie's beauty elixir does for your skin is it's going to add moisture, it's going to tone and tighten pores, and it's going to boost the radiance. It has orange flower water in it, rosemary, glycerin, and mint. And it comes in two sizes. That's how much I love this product. The small size I keep in my purse and it's $18. And the larger size I keep at home in my bathroom and I believe it's $36. And I'll show you how to apply it. I shake it up a little bit and then a few pumps to my skin. It feels so good and it's a light mist. It goes on evenly and it's gonna help your skin glow a bit as well as moisturizing it. This product I use all the time, every day throughout the winter and dry months. I would highly recommend starting out with a small bottle and give it a try. See how you like it. Let me know in the comment section below. Okay guys, I am so happy that we were able to film Bonnie's winter moisturizer request. If you guys would like to request the next video, please leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button and ring that bell so you will be notified on my upcoming 
ongoing videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. It was so good to see you guys. You know I love hanging out with all of you. And I will see you at our next video. Please be safe. Please be well. I will see you guys soon. Ciao.